now we did create let's do the read um so we already have the read for all of the records in the get method let's do the read for a single record public function i'm i'm gonna write this as find and i'm gonna include the item id parameter here and the goal is going to be something very similar to what we have in the get method so i'm simply going to copy paste this whole thing add a where clause item id is equal to item id okay prepare this sql and now we add item id so this label this key in the dictionary matches the placeholder name the arrow the double arrow which points to the value so it's key double arrow to value and the item id from the parameter here we still want to fetch a class of class item but now we don't want to fetch all we only want to fetch one of the records since we know by using the primary key value only one record should come the difference between fetch and fetch all is that fetch all returns an array of records whereas fetch returns a single record okay so this is meant to return one item from the list so we can see the record details now in this example it's not it's not going to be one of the most useful things to do. However, uh, this will be a very useful and powerful thing to do if we have a table that has many, many fields for which it, it is relevant to show the details for the records. So I'm still showing the technique right here and uh, it can be applied to uh, much larger tables. So in the home controller now, let's make a public function detail item id as the parameter and now what we want to do is we simply want to get uh, the proper record so this model item let's just capitalize this and i really like to change the calls whenever i can when it makes sense item id okay and i want this to be uh, the item so the item is the item which has the item id as in the parameter here and now what i want to do is i want to call a view and this view is going to be home slash detail and i will pass the item directly as a parameter in php i'm allowed to pass whatever i want as parameters unless i have a check and in this case i do not have a check so i'll just use that to my advantage and it's going to be easier uh, in the detailed view now i want to create a view again new file i'll just Go grab some code to make my life a bit faster. I'll just paste this here and save it as detail.php. Now, this is absolutely not what I want to do. I want to see the item details. Great, and I'd like to have a, say, a definition list. And I'll use DT, the definition term. And the definition description here remove that 
I'll go back to list after. So what do I want to present here? I'd like to use the shorthand PHP uh, shorthand for output. And I'll just use the data name as the output. So data is the name of the variable that is being passed through this view, through to this view, and name is the attribute I actually want to present on screen. So I have the proper view here, and the home controller seems to be correct, and the item as well. So let's not forget to actually link this somewhere. So now it is going to become a bit relevant to change this unordered list as a table. I like to write it as a table, and so tr. in the first column there's going to be the item name and in the second column there's going to be actions so now I'm going to add some more formatting. Okay, so I want to place the actions right here in this column. And I have to use the proper variable, the proper attribute to pass the proper data, which is the item ID in this case. Got ahead of myself here. Show me the details for this. Perfect. So got ahead of myself again. <laughs> Let's just close the table. And now let's go back to this example. And we have the list in table format. So we can click on details for milk and see, oh, there you go, the, this, this item is milk. And I can go and see, oh, this item is potatoes. Okay, good. So we've done now, we're done with the read in our model.